As a teacher, Ashley Benjamin recognized that some students were having difficulty grasping specific content and wanted to do more for them. This is why she decided to pursue studies in educational psychology. I came back to Tobago and I just knew from interaction that this is a service that Tobago needs, that I needed to create this safe place so children can come and basically be themselves, perform the way that they are and get help. Blossoming Minds Educational Institute offers both a full-time and a part-time program helping children with various learning disabilities, including dyslexia, dyscalculia, and autism spectrum disorder. We have a dyslexic remediation program, which is probably the most popular program that we're offering here, where students would come, they will get assessed, we'll figure out specifically where we're at, and then we would go from there. After assessment, Ms. Benjamin adopts a holistic and creative approach. More of a multi-sensory learning because that's how children with learning challenges learn best. So we tend to do more, incorporate different senses. So we're teaching one topic and we're trying to link the visual with the tactile and, you know, the auditory. She recalls an experience shared with a 10-year-old student. I remember the assessment day. I asked him to say the letters of the alphabet and he said, I know that letter, it's in my name, it's in my name. But he was unable to identify the letter. I took him on and after four months, his mom called me one day and she said, Miss, she was really emotional, so I was, but it was, we, we were on break. So I was a bit worried because she called with emotions. And she was like, Miss, I said, yes, mommy, you know my son could read. And I was like, yes, she said, he's reading the first primer out. And I was like, yes. And I was like, this is the reason why I do what I do. But it's not only children who can receive assistance at this institute. We have a lot of, a lot of people who cannot read, right? So based on interaction, and this is it's good because they can come on their own timing. They can come privately because, you know, they don't, they don't want to sit in a classroom with everyone. And I guess that's the reason why they reach the adulthood without being able to. Among her upcoming plans for the Institute, the commencement of a dyslexic foundation. A lot of persons would come to the institution, we'll do the assessment and they would start. But I mean, let's be honest, financially they can't afford to keep up every month. So, but these are people who actually want to get the help, but they just can't. So it's my intention with the foundation to visit different stakeholders and have somewhat of a sponsored child program. She says that the first step to finding help for someone with a learning disability is acceptance and says by including different types of therapy at the Institute, the process will be an easier one. I am Carissa Douglas for TTT News and I love Tobago.